one of the methods that we use to write electron configurations is to learn to read the periodic chart from left to right. And in this way, you won't have to memorize, per se, what orbitals fill prior to other orbitals in terms of how much energy they have. Um, if you read the periodic chart from left to right, we're always going to start with these elements and then move across from left to right. And just for this purpose, I'm going to pretend that helium, although he is a noble gas, he only has two electrons. So I'm going to put him right over here because um, once he has his uh, first energy level completely filled, he has filled that 1s with two electrons. And we know that all of these elements here are now currently filling one, with one electron in the s orbital. All of these elements here have two electrons in the s orbital. This is our s block. All of these elements in these first two rows are currently filling their s sub level. <clears throat> and it depends on what energy level they are filling. Our, all these elements over here are filling their P sub level. Boron, aluminum, gallium, all of those have one electron in their outer P. All of these elements have two electrons in their outermost P sub level. Three in the P, four P, um, P with five electrons. And again, those noble gases would have six. So after the S's fills and the P's, here is our D block, and this is our F block. I'm going to do a few examples in learning how to read the periodic chart from left to right. Okay, for helium, we know that it has two electrons, so we know that the 1S is filled with two. Right. 1S fills with two. Well, after that, there's no more elements in period one. So we start filling the second energy level, lithium and beryllium. Well, if we were to look at um, the configuration of nitrogen, well, nitrogen would have the 1s completely filled with 2, and then it's going to start filling the 2s with 2, and then this area over here would be our 2p row, and nitrogen is the third one over, so we would have three electrons in the p. First of all, just to take a look at um, a shorthand method of reading the periodic chart from left to right. Um, this is the energy level, the principal quantum number, the energy level currently being filled by those elements. So they are filling the 1s, s block, first period. These elements are filling the second energy level and the s sublevel. These elements are in the second period and they're filling their p sublevel. So this is the 2p. And then we run out of elements on the second period. So we come back over, start filling the third period. This would be the 3s orbital. So they are filling the 3s orbital. No elements right here. We have a gap. And then we start filling the 3p. After the 3p, we come back over to the left side. And this is where we can clearly see that the 4s does fill before the 3d. Then the 3d fills with 10. As you notice, there's 10 elements all the way across in this D block. And then we go back and fill the 4P. After the 4P, we're out of elements, so we're going to come back over to the left side again and fill the 5S. And then from 5S, we fill the 4D. After the 4D, we fill the 5P. After 5P, we come back over and fill the 6S with 2. Now, if you take a look at atomic numbers on the periodic chart that you have, you'll notice that there is, um, this is where we go down to the inner transition metals, and they are currently filling their F sublevel. Um, all of these are filling the 4F, so from 6S, we go down and fill the 4F with 14, then we go back and fill the 5D, and we just follow by atomic number. After the 5D, we fill the 6P. Then the 7s, and take a look at ton of, uh, taking a look at the atomic numbers. We go down and fill the 5f with 14 electrons, and then back up to fill the 6d. Um, and on an updated version, we would have 118 elements where you would be filling um, the 7p sublevel.
So to look at the order of how they're filling, if we were to do the electron configuration for um, titanium. Previous to titanium, everything is already filled. So we will fill, the 1s will fill with 2, then the 2s fills with 2, then the 2p fills with 6, 3s fills with 2, 3p fills with 6, 4s fills with 2, and then the 3d fills with only two electrons. So if you were to write out the configuration for just sodium, right here. <clears throat> Up until the point where sodium is, every um, previous orbital has been filled. So we know that there are electrons that have filled the 1s with 2. And then we move to the second period. The 2s fills with 2. And then the 2p fills with 6 electrons. And then sodium is right here, so in the third energy level, the 3s orbital only has one electron in it. And just to double check yourself, um, sodium has an atomic number of 11. So there's 11 protons and 11 electrons. So just to make sure that these numbers of electrons right here add up to 11, 2, 2, 6, and 1, add up to 11. 